Hey there, all you wonderful creative people. I'm Buddy Cosplay, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by, and don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you are a return, returning person, thank you again for taking your time out of your day to share some time with me and talk about cosplay and learn some different techniques together. Uh, I do want to say that I'm trying to do a little different video today. I've got a lot of glare in my glasses, so... Uh, bear with me i've got these guys that's uh that's rob rob zombie and a warcraft build i started and haven't got to complete yet it's a uh, i don't know it's hard to explain but maybe i'll show a picture a picture should have showed up it's going to be that so anyway i wanted to uh just sit here and talk to you about a couple things uh, concerning uh beginners and this video is about beginner beginner costuming and foam fabrication and I want to do it in a format such as a question and answer because um, I get a lot of questions that I get asked often by people who are just getting started out in cosplay and working with EVA foam so I thought if I just pull a few of those questions and uh, uh, answer them you know it'll help a lot of the beginners that have the same questions that I see reoccurring over and over and it's just again my personal experience none of this is necessarily written in cosplay gold anywhere but I wanted to share my personal experiences with you on the subject so let's go ahead and get started and I've got my computer going hence the glare and you may hear my mouse and everything as I'm moving things so I'm going to read some questions Question number one, is it easy to create your own armor? No, it's not easy, but it's also not difficult. So don't let that scare you away. It is a skill that you need to learn and you hone that skill over time to create better armor and props as you progress in your skill level. Again, the process itself is pretty straightforward and simple. You take some foam, you mold it, you shape it, uh, you glue it together, you paint it, things like that. But there are many things that require some some time to really get the hang of. But I'll tell you this, it's definitely worth it. And it, for me, it gives me a huge sense of compl accomplishment. It's a good creative outlet, you know, after work when things are just, you know, it's been a crazy hectic day and I just want something different to do. It's a great way for me to just let some of that creativity out and... I've also found that I've connected with some really great people in the community and the community is one of the best parts about cosplay. Everybody's really great. They seem to want to share their their work, their input. And I just realized I'm saying there is their their I'm from Kentucky, so maybe that's the reason. But they want to share their experiences, their builds, their tips, their tricks and things like that. And it's a great community, so I encourage you to not let the idea that cosplay foam armor creation is um, being a little bit difficult, you know, don't let that scare you away. It's not really difficult um, if you if you just take the time to do it and learn the things you need to learn. Question number two: How long does it take to make a full armor suit? I get this one a lot and it really depends. There's no answer that's simple for this. It depends on the complexity of the suit you're wanting to make, the amount of detail that's in that design, if there's additional props that go with it, a sword or an ax or um, a helmet, um, clothing, chain mail. There's, there's tons of things that could really change the amount of time it takes to create a piece of foam armor I'm sorry a suit of foam armor but don't let that scare you away because you can start small and do some really quick builds to build your skill level and your confidence before taking on more complex and time-consuming builds for example um, here's I'm gonna show you a picture of a simple one you could do this build probably in a day I'm, I'm think we're back now and uh, and I'm going to show you another picture of one that would take you weeks, if not months, to complete. 
So it really depends on what you're trying to shoot for, but I'd recommend not doing too, anything too complex to start with. Do something simple. Um, a simple helmet build was a good way to learn a lot of different techniques along the way with your first piece. Next question that I have that gets ask, asked a lot is how much does it cost to get started? And this is a question that many people worry about with cosplay because they assume maybe it takes a, a ton of cash because you hear people talking about things like um, different mold making techniques, laser cutters, 3D printers and things like that but you don't need any of that. That is way way advanced things that you don't need to get started. What you really only need is uh, some foam which I have some craft foam here you get it for a buck, buck fifty. A razor knife. You can buy these at Harbor Freight or on Amazon. You can get a couple for a dollar sometimes. A Sharpie or a pen and some paint. Whoa. And with just those four materials <clears throat> and under 10, 15 bucks, you know, you can build your first piece and get really really get started in learning how to create different pieces of cosplay armor and that is really all it takes um, you don't have to worry about all the extra things you know the the way your armor looks the best is the amount of effort that you put into it the more effort and detail you want to put into your piece is going to affect the overall quality and look of your finished piece not necessarily the materials themselves so don't let price scare you off. You can get started rather cheap. Next question is, what is one thing I wish I had known when I first got started cosplaying? Well, the very first thing I wish I would have, or the one thing I wish I would have known when I first got started was the magic of EVA foam. Uh, wizards all congregate in one place and sprinkle magic powder all over this foam to make it the greatest working material you could think of out there in my humble and personal opinion and um, again this is just a piece of craft foam it's considered EVA foam but there's other kinds which we have other videos that talk about the different kinds of foam but for example purposes this kind of foam is really great because when you hit it with a heat gun and hold it into a shape it will retain that shape over time so once it cools down you, you heat it up, you fold it like this. It may not stay exactly like this, but it'll probably retain that much of a curve just from some heat. And that is a beautiful and magical thing that you can do with something as simple as foam. And especially when you consider the price of it can, compared to Warbler and other materials, you just can't beat it. So when I first started out, I didn't start out with foam. I started out with Pepakura. And that is basically where you print out on cardstock a design that was a 3D image that has been changed into a two-dimensional image, so it's flat. And then you cut out all these pieces, and you get blisters in your hands from all this cutting and intricate, intricate cuts and folding and everything else. And you start gluing them together, and your fingers get stuck together with the uh, super glue or the hot glue, and you get burned. And, you know, a week later, you've got the shape of let's say a helmet and then you take that shape and then you have to cover it with fiberglass resin which is not fun to breathe in you can't really use it indoors and then from there you have to cover that with some bondo so you can sand it and shape it and one of the first things I did was this guy he is not pretty and I never really got to finish him well enough I was going to make the face plate move it's actually cut off and it does come off, but I have I have it hot glued on just in place for the moment. But um, it took a lot of work to make this one helmet. And looking back, I would have never started with, with this type of build. Something like uh, the Pepakura is something for people that have the time, patience, and probably a little bit more experience. So I'd recommend starting out with foam, and I wish that I had known foam was out there before I started with this but when I started looking on how to make my own Iron Man costume this is what I found here is a bucket of other things that I never finished 
This is the back piece for Iron Man. It's the back and sides. It's the Pepakura paper all printed out, glued together. You could see all the spots where it was glued. And then it's been covered in resin to give it some firmness. And at which point you would cover this with the Bondo. And that's really, it's really as far as I got with it. Here's the abs piece. So that's a bucket full of incomplete armor that I, I, I've got when I first started out. And it was a lot of time invested in there just for a skill that I wasn't ready to learn. And I would highly recommend you start with foam and, you know, learn before you or learn to walk before you start to run. So let's go with the next question. The West, next question, not the West question. The next question is, what is the first thing I ever built? Well, I showed you my Iron Man, Peppercura, um, Bondo build. This is one of the. This is the actual very first thing I built. I built it, and it took forever, and it was never quite the way I wanted it to look. It was. It's pretty heavy. Um, it's uncomfortable on my head. I didn't add any padding or anything yet. And once I got this far and I kind of ruined the paint job, I left it sit. So this is the first thing I ever built. Now since we're talking more about foam, the first thing I built out of foam is over here. And this guy is just some original weird mask that I made, uh, inspired kind of by Mad Max. And I don't really know what it's supposed to be. It's got a mouth guard and some piping coming out as if it's being, uh, as oxygen's being fed to it. Got some actual nails, which is a horrible idea, <laughs> you know, because you don't want, and there's a spider crawling over here. I better kill it real quick. It's a big spider. And it's, yep, it got into my receipts. Guess it'll live there for a while. But, you know, things like these nails, horrible idea. You could hurt somebody. They could get pushed back and hurt you. But this is the first thing I built out of foam. And to this day, I don't really understand what I was going for. I was just wanting to see what I can make. And this took me a couple days because I really didn't know what I was doing. It actually has some LEDs in it that light up underneath these little cups in the front. I got two red ones and two blue ones. I don't have a battery in here. So there's the very first thing I built. It's not great, but it's it was a good start and I learned a lot from it. First thing I learned is I can't wear my glasses with it. I think the spider fell out of here. Gross. All right, so Next question is, who is your favorite creator? Um, there's a lot of great cosplay creators out there. Uh, Bill Duran does some really great work. He's, he does everything from simple cosplay builds to really advanced things with 3D printing and mold making. Really, really good, solid information over on his channel, Evil Ted. Um, he does some great stuff over there. There's a lot of really good creators, but as far as a creator in a general sense, my favorite would have to be Adam Savage. And Adam Savage is the guy that was made famous through shows like Mythbusters, and he has uh, he's part of, of the Tested channel on YouTube, and he's done so much more. Uh, but why he's one of my favorites is not just because of cosplay because he doesn't call himself a cosplayer but he does some costuming and he gets into it and he goes to the conventions but he's not only a costumer he's a creator he's an artist he's an engineer he's a problem solver and ultimately he's just he has a great creative mind and if i could channel some of that creativity that he has i know i'd probably be happy with most of the builds that i do so that's one of the reasons i i i try to emulate the creative nature of somebody like Adam Savage, and that's why I pick him as my favorite. So, Adam, if you're watching, keep up the good work. And the last quest question, question, the last question 
that uh, I'm going to do is one thing I'd recommend to people just getting started in foam fabrication. Well, if I could recommend just one single thing, that would be get some insight before you begin. You know, watch some YouTube videos, read articles, and better yet, uh, here comes a shameless plug. Go to Amazon and get my free Kindle ebook for beginners that's called Cosplay Noob's Guide. Everything you need to create your first foam armor piece and be cool as f Did I beep that out? I hope I beeped that out. I don't know why I named it that. I just thought, hey, that'll get somebody's attention. Put a cuss word in it. So, uh, sorry for the shameless plug there, but uh, the reason I wrote the book was to help guide new people through the very beginning stages of learning this craft. So if you are brand new, uh, go check it out. It's free uh, and it's, it's got everything you need to understand the, the beginning processes of what you're gonna do, as well as a step-by-step -step walkthrough of building your first piece. Now, if you've already been building some things, you've got a couple uh, pieces of armor under your belt, it's probably not for you. It's gonna be pretty uh, rudimentary type um, information and it'll probably just bore you to tears so you can skip that if if you want and you've already got some experience but if you're just starting off or starting out it's a great place to start and um, you know go check it out and just remember to start small don't worry about making mistakes there will be mistakes made you'll make them I'll make them Rob Zombie will make them and you just learn from them and you'll get better with each and every mistake that you make. So I'll put the links to the ebook and other things discussed in this video in the description down below. And be sure to stop by cccosplay.com to check out all the things going on over there. Click that subscribe button while you're here. And last but not least, good luck getting started in this in your own personal cosplay journey. It's been great for me. It's been an awesome experience and a great force in my life so far. And I'm confident that if you embrace it, it will be for you as well. Thanks for watching and remember, um, stay creative and happy crafting. Psst. Hey there, you, yeah you, come here. Why don't you uh, click that subscribe button real quick, please? That's all I got for you. Just come by and see me at cccosplay.com. Hit that subscribe button. That way you'll always have updated information when new videos are released. And uh, connect with me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. All the information is on cccosplay.com. And last but not least, stay crafty, my friends.